Texture packs, resource packs, they're the exact same thing in Minecraft 1.19.4. And in this video, we're going to show you how to download them and install them. It's also worth noting that any 1.19 resource pack is going to work in 1.19.4 even if it says it's not going to in game. So we're gonna show you exactly what to do if you get in game and your texture pack says it's not gonna work. First things first though, we do need to download some texture packs. You can find a link in the description down below to here. This is our list of 15 resource packs for Minecraft 1.19. There's all sorts of awesome resource packs here from John Smith Legacy to things like Bare Bones, which is a very bare sort of resource pack. It's actually one of my favorites. Let's install that one. We'll also go ahead and grab Spax Pure BD Grab because why not? And we will grab John Smith Legacy. We should probably also grab a Curse Forge pack. Malith Faithful is on curse forge these days so we'll grab that as well now in some cases it'll take you to a dedicated tutorial for that pack on our website just click the download button there and it will take you to the download page for that resource pack now as i said curse forge is a very popular go ahead and click on files here at the top and then we can find the version we want now right now 1.19.3 is the most recent version you can install any 1.19 pack though in 1.19.4. So a 1.19.3 pack, guess what? It's going to work. So just go ahead and click on the download file button here and the download will begin after a few seconds. Bare Bones is also a Curse Forge pack, so we click on files. We find the 1.19 version, right there it is, and click on the download button. Now, Spax Premium Craft is a bit different. They have their own website to host the download. So when you're here, you'll scroll down and be able to see all of the different versions, with the most recent being 1.19.3. Again, though, it's worth noting that that will work in the newest version, 1.19.4. You can slide on this uh, scroller here, by the way, to see the different versions, whether you want 512, which is, uh, I mean, pixel perfect, absolutely insane, or you want 16X, which is a very blocky sort of look, but gonna perform a lot better. I usually find somewhere in the middle, 64, 128, is gonna be your best options. We'll go a little higher today, 128. Click on download. You then need to download either by becoming a supporter or with an ad. We're gonna choose with an ad. Accept the terms of use, and after a few seconds, the download will begin here. Just kinda of need to sit back, relax, and wait 10 seconds. After those seconds are completed, we can click the download button, and the download will begin right away in the bottom left. Now, next up, we need to download John Smith Legacy. Scroll down, click the download button. And the reason I wanted to include this one is because it has two versions. If you were to come here and just download this version, it's not going to work. This is for Minecraft Bedrock. We need the Minecraft Java edition right here. So we want to come down here and then click on the John Smith Legacy download link to start downloading it for 1.19.3. So it is worth noting that you want to download the Java version of a pack if there is a Bedrock and Java variant. But nevertheless, all of our packs are now downloaded. I already have Minecraft open, but let's go ahead and first move all of these resource packs to our desktop because it's just easier to use them and install them into Minecraft when that's the case. To find them, click the little Windows icons in the top left of my screen, probably in the bottom left of your screen or bottom center of your screen on Windows 11, then type in Downloads. Now, you may have a Downloads folder. If you have it, click on it. Otherwise, go into File Explorer, and then on the left-hand side, scroll down to This PC, and then here you'll have Downloads. Double-click on it to find all of the resource packs you downloaded. Drag them to your desktop, again, for ease of use. Now here we have John Smith Legacy, Pure BD Craft, Bare Bones, and Faithful. Let's get these installed. To do that, you want to open up Minecraft. Then from the Minecraft main menu, go ahead and click on Options, Resource Packs. Then you want to go ahead and click on the Open Pack Folder button. That was a little fast. Let's do it again. From the Minecraft main menu, click on Options, Resource Packs, Open Pack Folder. Now to install a Resource Pack in Minecraft, just drag and drop it into this resource packs folder. It really is that quick and easy. But when we close out of this, there's a lot of red there. Every single pack, because 1.19.4 came out two hours ago, isn't updated. It's showing red. It's showing that it's not going to work, except it will. Let's start with bare bones. It's the oldest. It's not even updated to 1.19.3. It's just on 1.19. So if we hover over this, we click the arrow that appears. We're going to get this warning. Are you sure you want to load this pack? And yes, we are. Then we can click done. Minecraft's going to reload and bare bones will be installed. Not only has it changed the button textures, it changes the main menu. And if we jump into game, we'll be able to see that sure enough, this is in fact working and it is bare bones. It's very, very simple, as you can see. Let's go ahead and go uh, 
back over ground real fast to where I really feel like you can see this texture pack and how barren it is. It kind of takes the Minecraft vanilla look as an inspiration. But what if you don't like it? Well, you can actually change your resource pack in game by hitting escape, going to options, resource packs, and then you can remove a pack by hovering over it in the selected section and clicking the arrow to move it back over here. Let's go ahead and do faithful. So if we click on this, it's going to give us that warning again. Click yes, it's now in selected, click done, and faithful is now active. Now, something you'll occasionally run into is because these packs aren't made for the most recent version, sometimes a texture won't update. Now, just an example, let's say the pig texture here didn't update and we wanted it to be yeah, something other than the vanilla look. Well, in that case, we can actually go into options, resource packs, and we can activate another pack. Let's say we want pure BD craft. So go ahead and click yes. And then we can hover over pure BD craft on the selected section and move it below faithful. So what this does is work in a hierarchy. Faithful will show all of its textures, but any textures that Faithful doesn't have will then show Pure BD Craft. Any textures that neither Faithful or Pure BD Craft have will then show the default textures. So that is how you can go ahead and, you know, kind of do a stacking of textures. And it's really helpful if, for example, you have a weapons pack. You can install your weapons pack up top and then your other textures under it. Then when you click done, it'll show your weapons and then it'll show whether the other texture pack was, in this case, Faithful or Sfax Pure BD Craft. But there you have it. That is how you can install texture packs in Minecraft Java Edition 1.19.4, even if they're showing red, even if they don't look like they're going to work. That is how you can do it. By the way, it is cool that uh, Minecraft did add in the high contrast menu. So you can go ahead and enable that if you want to really see the high contrast menu. But guess what? You're still using John Smith, the texture back below it. It just changes your menu and GUIs. It doesn't change anything else. Really, really cool. A nice addition for color blindness. Not to mention the other accessibility features that were added in to Minecraft Java Edition 1.19.4. This is kind of the accessibility update. It's really cool. But nonetheless, that is an example of stacking a texture pack. The UI is the high contrast UI here, right? Then it's going John Smith Legacy. If we wanted the pure BD craft textures, we could enable those and the UI doesn't change. The UI is still high contrast, but this is Spax Pure BD Craft. Pretty cool example there and a great way to uh, showcase exactly what I mean by stacking those texture packs. Nonetheless, we'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. I'm out. Peace.